So welcome everyone with another profile in the leaders. And now we have a special guest. Uh, welcome, Mr. Pro uh, Professor Roy. Sorry, I have to say it correctly. No problem. <laughs> welcome. Um, so today we're going to uh, have a, a personality profile uh, mm -hmm. report with Professor Roy. And first I'm going to interview Mr. Roy. Uh, and my first question will be, can you explain who are you in, about your name and who are you? Okay. Let me repeat, let me repeat. My name is Roy Sambal. Yeah, I'm a professor. My home base for academic is at IPM International Business School. Uh, and my position is as the distinguished chair for finance and investment. Previously, I was the dean, but after, uh, after 2018, I become free. I become the distinguished chair for finance and investment. But uh, my academic activity not only at IPMI, but also, for example, at IPB Bogor for the doctoral program, teaching there, and then mentoring the dissertation of the students. Also at UPH, Universiti Harapan, also mentoring the students' dissertation, and also at the Trisakti, yeah, the Universitas Trisakti, mentoring the students' uh, dissertation for the doctoral program. That's the academic activity. And other than that, uh, I also involved uh, in professional job in some of the company, becoming the uh, chairman or commissioner, and then becoming the audit committee uh, or becoming the investor for the for the startup company, and then also for uh, other activity training for many companies. Yeah. Okay, that's basically my job. Yeah. Uh, for the personal, uh, I'm married and then I have four children, uh, all four already graduated from at least S1, yeah. Uh, three boys and one, or no longer boys, they're already men. <laughs> they are already, uh, the youngest one is already 22 and already graduated from the bachelor program. And then the oldest one is 31, yeah, already has their, his own company, a venture capital and then corporate restructuring company. Uh, the three boys is number three boys are number one, number three, and number four. Uh, the the girls number two. Uh, she is currently in New York, uh, uh, taking the doctoral program. Yeah. Okay, that's basically the personal life. And then overall, I believe I already explained from the professional life and then the personal life. That's it. My the short description. Thank you for your answer. Uh, and, and about your professional life, uh, yes. uh, uh, IMPI, uh, yes. what is the goal there? I read a lot about it. Uh, so what is the goal to achieve? Uh, you are in English Education Institute for Business. In New yeah, yeah. First. Uh, well, let me tell you about IPMI International Business School. It was set up in early 80s, 1980s, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, together with uh, cooperation with the Harvard Business School and NCIAT Business School, yeah. And then the first leaders, uh, the rector, also from Harvard, professor from Harvard, and then all the lecturers there were trained to be a professor that can teach the case study a la Harvard. Yeah. Uh, and then the first campus was in uh, Kemang a long time ago, and then we moved to uh, Kalibata campus uh, early 90s. Yeah. So until early 90s, uh, the professor, the lead professor was still from Harvard, in fact, I was interviewed as a to become the lecturer in 1990, yeah, a long time ago. The interviewer was the professor from Harvard at the time because he was the rector at Italy, yeah. But after that, I did not teach there because I have to continue my study uh, for my doctoral program. Yeah. At that time, I have my MBA, but not yet the doctoral program. Yeah. So after I finished my doctoral program, doctoral degree in 1996 and returned to Indonesia in 1997, and then started teaching at me in 1998 actually, because in 1997 still transition period, I, I still um, adjust myself to Indonesia. And starting 1998, I teach, uh, I started to teach at me until 2001. Yeah? And then after that, uh, for uh, about five to six years outside IPMI, uh, because I had my career at the other university. And then after that, back to IPMI as a full-timer starting in 2012 at the time until now yeah and then i became a dean of ipmi until 2000 uh, the, the the transition between 2017 and 2018 
and now I am the distinguished chair for finance and investment. So uh, my life is more free <laughs> compared to the structural that uh, they uh, as a structural uh, they, uh, as a dean structural position. I have to sign so many document paperwork. <laughs> now I uh, now I am free. I can do many things yeah, that I could not do if I become I still become the dean. Yeah. Okay, that's basically about the professional life at IPME. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So, so uh, I also know that you uh, already coach and, and educate a lot of leaders uh, here in Indonesia. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, we we're going to talk about behavior today, right? Sure, sure. So, 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 can you give a, a, a basic description about who you are in, in behavior? What kind of person are you? Okay, my personality, according to myself, I am a cheerful person, always try to be happy everywhere, and then cautiously optimistic, yeah. tend to be optimistic even the, during the crisis. Yeah. Nah, those are basically the characteristic of myself in summary. Yeah. So cheerful and cautiously, cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Can you explain that? Cautiously optimistic? What, what do you mean by that? Yeah, the tendency toward optimism, yeah, not the negative side. So for every situation, there should be some positive side of the of the situation. However, we need to also manage the risk. That's the cautious part. Yeah, not over optimistic because it is dangerous. If it is over optimistic, then we become uh, apa namanya, easy to. get into the trouble yeah, because of over optimism that is the euphoria for example yeah, and then bubble and when the bubble burst then uh, then things can be very bad for us right so so actually what you're saying always looking at the bright side of life on a realistic way yes yeah it's better to light up candle instead of cursing the darkness something like that lah. yeah it, oh well uh, by the way that, that's not a mati lampu pln yeah yeah <laughs> Light up the candle. <laughs> so, so uh, that's when you, who you are for yourself. But uh, when you when you at work, mm-hmm. uh, does your behavior change? Now you can ask my student in my class. We are always happy, fun things. Yeah, uh, we we have a lot of laugh and smile uh, during the discussion. Yeah. And then uh, I encourage my student to make mistake. Come on, you have not made mistake today. If you have not made mistake, meaning that you are not trying harder, you are still in your comfort zone. Yeah. So yeah, it's okay to my to make mistake in my class. Even you will be rewarded to make mistake. Yeah. Well, not on purpose mistake, but when you, you try and then finally you uh, you cannot do better than that, then uh, you make mistake and then we try to uh, uh, find the, uh, the the solution for that. Yeah. Something like that. So they just so you try to you try to push them and motivate them to, yes. to outperform themselves. Yeah, that to to work to, to go outside their comfort zone. That that way we learn, right? If we are still in our comfort zone, then ah, okay, then we don't learn a lot. Yeah. And 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 in the situation where uh, we call that uh, where there's we mentioned severe pressure, like for example, sure. Sure. Uh, you're in a situation that. Uh, The future future of your company is in danger. What would change in your behavior? Would you change? No, because uh, I also uh, I always try to find the positive thing. Remember the cautious yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, for example, I joined a company that uh, has had a deep trouble uh, about 10 years ago because the profit is the negative profit, not the profit. The loss is. more than the revenue <laughs> the revenue is this then the loss is this <laughs> so that's yeah, yeah. the fear problem and the negative equity already uh, technically bankrupt yeah. but that uh, is the the opportunity to create value out of that very bottom company yeah. and then uh, we uh, we try to do uh, the the creative thing for that company and finally the company survive and when the company survive without Uh, without uh, PHK, eh, without uh, namanya, without uh, 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 cutting the the total employee, only rearranging the position and then creating the in, new incentive for the employee. Nah, but of course, if they want to resign, that's fine. Yeah. But we don't stop. Uh, we don't cut their employment. Uh, just just rearranging it. So in that situation. Uh, Everyone honorable. is happy, yeah. So yeah, yeah. honorable is honorable way. Right? So so I know that you are a, a motivator uh, for other mm. people around you. That's also how you see yourself. But yeah. what, what what makes you motivated? 
I really like if I see my student can grow ya, yeah, grow themselves and then finally become uh, better and then achieve something yeah, outside the class. I mean, after they graduate, they achieve something. Yeah. I really like that. For example, some of my student uh, uh, after the education, after the they get the class at me, got promoted several times. Yeah. Well, then they, they report to me. Thank you, Pak. I have been promoted for several times because uh, using uh, the tips from IPMI in general and from me yeah, especially. Well, I like that very much, yeah. So yeah. That, that really motivate me. Uh, so to see my uh, my students grow, yeah. You like to see progress in the, in the world yeah. that you put in. Okay, good. And and, and, and on the other way around, hmm? when, when do you get demotivated? Yeah, if I see, uh, I'm, uh, for example, in a situation where um the most people use the negative thoughts <laughs> so my 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 energy will drop there uh, now because of that i will pull out of the, the community uh, several times for example in whatsapp group for example if the discussion is already uh, uh, bad negative then i will exit to the group sorry <laughs> this is not my community uh, because I tend to be cautiously optimistic, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Try to be cheerful and cautiously, cautiously optimistic. Yeah, I agree with that. So we're talking about that, but because you said I'm optimistic and I like to push people forward and coach them. So yes. uh, how would you translate that in, in, in what are your strengths where you're really good at? Based on uh, my observation on myself, yeah, mm -hmm. my strength is in facilitating the class, facilitating the course, yeah, to make people uh, uh, become very encouraged to learn, yeah, and then uh, try to explain the concept to them from the point of view of the practical point of view, not only the theoretical. Of course, there is a con there, there will be concept because of this academic. Yeah but uh, also the practical uh, fortunately i also have a career as a business practitioner yeah so i can give them stories the real life stories about the concept yeah. that will be very connected yeah the the concept and then the application uh, that will be interesting and then it, uh, people will be excited because of they know this is not only theory but also application yeah yeah based on your life work experience yes yeah okay. And, and and what would you what would be your weakness what would be your weakness so the weakness sometimes sometimes at some point i become impatient <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes okay yeah a lot of times yeah. right? so, so a lot of times you become impatient <laughs> okay if after trying to apa namanya, encourage so many people but on uh, there, there is one or or two students that uh, that cannot apa namanya cannot connect to the overall energy good energy right uh, well uh, there is always well oh there are not always yeah often uh, one or two bad apples yeah in the very good apples it yeah things like that all right that's it okay can you, can you still hear me yeah i can still hear you yeah it was yeah, I, I heard a little bit two, three second, two three second uh, freeze okay. but after so, that you're uh, good now you're facing or is it only from me okay good i, know, I hope I i'm see. still there so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another good. question is yeah 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 you're good you're okay. good now. Good. okay so so uh, um you said before how you how you uh, uh behave in general Mm -hmm. uh, when when we when you are with other people, right? Uh, you yes. say I'm optimistic. But uh, what 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 is it more to your behavior? Is there more when you're with other people than compared when you're alone? No, What's not the much. I don't think there is much different. Eh? Okay. So when I'm with other people, I join the positive communities, of course. But if it is a negative community, I pull out. I choose the. I have a. I have an option to join to join whatever communities. Or whatever people that fit with my, apa namanya, with my energy, right? You are not missing. Nah, okay, you now, about, now I can oh. Okay, now it's good. Okay, and if you talk about, if you talk about about being a leader, because you coach a lot of leaders. Yeah. Uh, what What is important in the behavior of a leader? 
according to you? The leader should be able to facilitate uh, the, uh, the the subordinate to become leader in the future. Yeah. So mm -hmm. leaders creates leaders, not only create followers. Right? That's the important thing. And how how do you do that? Through education, encouragement, mentoring, and then giving mm -hmm. examples, and then well, give some conceptual framework, and then uh, encourage them to learn more, something like that. And if you talk, for example, about your management team, right, for the yeah. IPMI, for example, uh, uh, what kind of leadership skills are important for them if you don't look at the students, just at the company? Okay, because it is an educational institution, again, the same principle, we have to be able to develop future leader, yeah? because our students will be the future leader, better leader in the future. Yeah? So we encourage them to keep on growing uh, through many different angles of learning. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so similar. Yeah, yeah, similar. Very important. So, so um, if you, if you, if you uh, talk about uh, leadership, Yes. But you also do a lot of uh, advice, consulting companies, and yes. then you have to make important decisions. Um, mm -hmm. How do you make those decisions if you talk about behavior? Well, what... Talking about making decisions, actually, that's a standard framework. Yeah, We have to know the current situation, the SWOT mm -hmm. analysis of current situation. And then we have to know the objective of the decision. And then based on that, we find some alternative. And then we evaluate the alternative. and pick the best the best and workable alternative yeah, according to our evaluation as simple as that and then try to follow up on the decision and then try communicate the decision in the persuasive way thing like that so you're actually someone that is uh, very analytical and and then uh, 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 you demand to follow that yeah yeah try to use the structured way of uh, doing things but also try to absorb some creativity combination of the structured way and then the creativity from many different ideas right okay good and, and um, how would people describe you do you think well that's that will be based on uh, the evaluation from the course and from the training <laughs> Okay, but but what would be what would they say to you? I don't I don't know if you have any students here, but yeah, some of that is in the LinkedIn account. Some student give me some apa namanya, uh, some evaluation. Yeah, people says that I can make complicated things simple, something like that. Yeah, and I can explain it a simpler way. And so uh, the concept, complicated concept, for example, the derivative option concept. And then I give you a simple example in the real life, for example, about the engagement before wedding or something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's the way of thinking of the derivative, for example. Now, doing that, then they can connect directly because it, it is related to day-to-day -day situation, which is very simple. Yeah. So making the complicated things simple, that's according to uh, my student. And also... Uh, uh, they like because uh, they are encouraged to make mistakes. Katanya, so it's okay to make mistakes in my class uh, because uh, they feel uh, more we uh, use reduction of worries when they try to say something. Yeah. Okay, they just smile and uh, sorry, pa, I make mistake. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what I, I was talking about. Nah, okay, that's okay. <laughs> something like that so they can be very honest about their weakness yeah <laughs> because we are we are we all make mistakes yeah? i explain to them even the professor make me i become professor because i made a lot of mistakes in my life right and we can learn from our mistakes even more than ours uh, compared to our success true uh, you, you learn from your mistakes right yeah so learn more from the mistake yeah we can learn from other mistakes but the, the connection, the feeling is not there, right? Because it, uh, you don't feel the pain. When exactly. you, you, uh, other people feel the pain. You can see, but you cannot directly feel the pain. When you you did the mistake yourself, then you really feel the pain. For example, I got my company, several company got bankrupt a long time ago. And recently, for example, yeah, I can feel the pain. So if, if only le uh, learning from the theory, this is the way to of the bankruptcy, financial decision. But you don't feel the the, the 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 human human feeling involved in that situation. Right? Once you you experience it yourself, <laughs> oh, that's the way to experience it, and you learn more from that. You have to. 
Okay, let me check something. I, yes. saw, I saw that someone is here that, that was nodding the whole time when you explained how they would describe you. So, uh, Denny, can you hear me? Denny? Denny Gunawan? Yeah, Denny Gunawan. Can you hear me? No, he's looking at the camera. <laughs> I, 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 I unmuted him, I think. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's talking to someone else. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Danny, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. I have one, one call. Yeah, oh, he's on the phone yeah. call. I, I, I saw you nodding when, when Professor Roy was describing himself. So that so I assume you know him. So Of course, of course, can, I know him. Can you tell me in your words, what kind of leader is Professor Roy? Okay, uh, first, um, uh, first of all, I introduce myself. My name is Danny. I want... I was one of his students. Okay. Uh, uh, undergraduate student. Uh, and uh, he also my professor and also my thesis advisor in uh, Christian University of Indonesia. Long time ago. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, long time ago in 2002. Oh, and, long time ago. Uh, from him also, I, I learned many things hmm. about uh, how to be a good finance and I still remember when he teach us, he always asks, who want this money? I will give you the money if you can answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the gaming. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, uh, Mr. Roy uh, give us uh, some US dollar. That, that's quite smart for us for, for that time. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy if you can get this money from him. If you, if you, can, if you can choose one word, how would you describe mm -hmm. him in one word? Uh, he is a great lecture. Great lecture. A great lecture, favorite lecture, and it's a very difficult to to ask him uh, uh, to become our advisor for the thesis scripts in uh, in Indonesian. Yeah, uh, I be uh, one of the lucky person who get the science or get new lens from him directly, and he he also give us uh, at the time. Uh, Ariadi and I give uh, some project with him. Yeah, with uh, Pak Teddy also, Pak Roy, if you still remember. Okay, with Pak uh, Teddy. Yeah. 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 Uh, with, with Ariadi, uh, we are a same student with the same uh, thesis advisor. That's a uh, Mr. Roy. Okay, thank you for uh, I, I, I still I still hope my, my thesis will... Uh, this is my, uh, if you can see, this is yeah, my. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can see. <laughs> so that's what motivates me to see my uh, my student grow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy Good. with the learning. Yeah? That's what uh, motivates me. Yeah. Thank I you much, very much, Jenny. I will, okay, I, will, I, will, I will go I also, out to. Yeah. I also uh, still remember his full name. I think uh, not everybody knows his full name. But I still remember. It's in the thesis, right? <laughs> <laughs> you need it. <laughs> okay. Well, Share it with us. What is his full name, Danny? Because I don't know. Oh, uh, may I? <laughs> yes, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not okay. secret. Uh, <laughs> his, his name is uh, Roy Hendra Michael Sambel. Yeah, that's, oh. <laughs> that, that's an, a very expensive name, Professor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Forward, become one person, a great person, I think. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Danny, Mr. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go uh, continue with the sewing, Mr. Roy into half. Okay. So, uh, Professor Roy, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Mr. Max, the, the Director Indonesia of Success Dynamic Alliance. Okay. And Hello, Max. Are you in Indonesia Hi. or in other country? <laughs> I am in Indonesia today. <laughs> okay, good for you. Yeah. So, you experience all the COVID era, or you arrive after the COVID uh, becomes uh, smooth, uh, becomes up and my soft. <laughs> I was here all the way through COVID. Oh, In fact, we, 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 launched, <laughs> we launched SDA during COVID, which was interesting. All right. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Uh, nice I, to meet I, leave you it, I leave it up to you guys. I'm going to jump out and I'm going to uh, wish you to uh, a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Amy. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay, um, I don't know who wants to go first. I think I'll uh, 
probably uh, just uh, ask you for your comments first. Did you, did you have an opportunity to read the uh, personality profile report that was sent to you? Well, not quite in detail, yeah, but mm -hmm. only, uh, apa namanya, only just uh, check overview because I have other things to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, in, in the end of the uh, yeah, year to 2021, the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. the training program for many companies are uh, very busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, so compare, combination of training, combination of class, combination also of the, the final exam of the dissertation, thesis, and script C that combined at the end of the year so <laughs> wow that's a so lot of my, pressure my priority is to to, open up, to pick up all the assignment first and later on during my free time i will, I will uh, the other document well, what i would recommend uh actually roy is if uh, perhaps in the new year when things get a little bit quieter for you yes. um i'll come and sit down with you we'll spend an hour have some coffee um and i'll, I'll run through the ppr with you if that would be fine that would be fine. We can uh, have a coffee close to here. There is a Bidakara building here. There are a coffee shop there, like uh, all, all the popular name of the coffee shop. Uh, several coffee shops there, yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, what I will do then um, is I will just very briefly run through what your report said to me. Um, and we'll ask for your comments on it. Um, okay. I can glean all of this information. I have to cover it, but from a chart that looks like that. Okay. That's not your chart, though. I won't All show right. that publicly. Um, so uh, your personality type it, it indicates that you're actually a high I over S over C um, with a low D, which means you're, it, mean? <laughs> you, it means you're extremely outgoing, charismatic, uh, okay. communicative, and very good at promoting ideas and concepts. Okay. Um, I'm actually reading my notes from uh, <laughs> earlier before the conversation, um, but I love how you seem to back that up by uh, one of the one of the comments you made was that your students said that you always made hard things seem simple. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean that would indicate to me that uh, you know that that's very strongly ingrained in your self image as well. well. What would you say about that comment? Yeah, I try to do that because. Uh... I try to translate the complicated concept of a scientific concept into the day-to-day application. Yeah. Uh, that is also uh, because I was trained to write a popular article out of the scientific concept. For example, from the Nobel Prize winner in economics, they have the concept. So what's the application I wrote? I, I write uh, every year in October, I always... Uh, writes uh, the article about the Nobel Prize winner in economics. That way, I train myself to uh, translate the complicated uh, concept of the Nobel Prize into the example of a day-to-day, -day. and then mm -hmm. the, the the benefit of this concept to our day-to-day -day life. Yeah, Something yeah. like that. It has been for the last 30 years I did that. So maybe that's also um, the, the, the cause of the the ability to do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that. From the difficult concept into day-to-day -day, uh, mm -hmm. life example, yeah. Okay. Um, it also uh, indicates in your charts that you have a, a strong need not only to, uh, to to be popular and to be like, mm -hmm. you're also incredibly persuasive and highly opinionated. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about that comment? Yeah, I guess uh, that fits with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. that sound like it, Matil. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and although you have a large circle of acquaintances, mm -hmm. you have quite a small circle of people who you would consider to be your your true yeah. true friends. Sure, sure. For the rest of the world, of course. Yeah, this is uh, to show them that I'm open to suggestion. I'm open mm -hmm. to apa namanya relation, but only a very few people that I really trust. Yeah. I yeah. consider that at the inner circle, something like that. Yeah. 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 Um, this one's kind of obvious from your job was the comment that I made, but having heard you speak again, it just seems to go without saying that you enjoy being the center of attention. Um, I guess if you're used to standing in front of people. As a facilitator, I, I am supposed to be the center of the attention here. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's just obvious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to leave so many of those notes. Um, 
because it's it is quite obvious based on your your job and your career mm. um i'd just like to ask you a couple of questions actually yeah, because it's right. interesting you know to have an opportunity to speak to somebody um much like yourself um <clears throat> one of the notes that i made um is that those that can do do those that can't do teach those that can't teach teach athletics um, <laughs> <laughs> but you do so you actually mentioned to Damie that you do business yes. um so we've got a bit of a chicken and an egg scenario here um because part of my philosophy with psychology is that the best way to learn is to teach yeah. so what order did things happen with you in your career Do, were you a lecturer before you were a business leader or did it all kind of happen at the same time okay this, this is the history when i was still a teenager long time ago mm -hmm. i i wanted to become the successful businessman because i started my first business when i was uh, 13 to 14 years old at the time uh, the, yeah. the business was the poultry business yeah that is mm -hmm. uh, the broiler and then the layers the broiler is the ayam pedaging yeah, and the layer is ayam petelur so layer yeah mm -hmm. so i was uh, successful at that time because starting from the 100 day old chick of the uh, broiler the ayam pedaging and then grow to 200 grow to 300 yeah after uh, uh, the business uh, ran very well yeah. and then add also 100 layers the ayam petelur yeah however at the time yeah, the neighbors complain because uh, the, the the location is in kampung and menteng dalam at that time menteng dalam was still a kampung you know about 40 years ago yeah no wow. no asphalt uh, uh, road man because if if uh, uh, even truck uh, want to go there then there will be it, they will got stuck because of the all the muds that <laughs> nah, but at that time uh, even though it's still kampung because the total number of chicken already uh, too many and then the smell is not so good anymore <laughs> so when i was because i was uh, uh that, that was three two or two and a half years for that poultry chicken farming and then after that i sold all the uh, the asset and business and the money that i received from that uh, the selling of that business i used that to buy a car yeah i was in the uh, first year of my senior high school at the time, buying a car. However, this is not for personal use, but I converted that into a taxi at the time. There's a yellow cap taxi, it's called the president taxi. Yeah. And then from one taxi, becomes two taxi, become three taxi. Very successful growing. And then yep. get a lot of money from that. Yeah. As a teenager, teenager, you make a lot of money already. Yeah. And then, how unfortunately, well, not really unfortunately, when I uh, enter my undergraduate degree at Bongor. I got invitation anyway from the IPB without test. And there is a program called without test. Yeah. And then the rector invited all the champion of the senior high school to join without test. Yeah. I was one of them. And then there, the competition is very, very tight because all the champions from all over Indonesia coming to that. Now, during that era, my business... Uh, I have to what name, slow down my business. And then, fortunately, at that time, I met directly to the rector of ITB, that is Professor Andi Kamnyasutian. And then he gave me some inspiration. So out of the 2,500 students, uh, there are about 12 students got invitation through the rector office and then got inspiration. And at that time, I got an idea why, why only become a businessman? Why not the professor? Starting then, my career changed. <laughs> the priority is <laughs> longer business and then become the professor. So I plan my life to become professor. In order to become professor, of course, you have to study in the master level and then doctoral level. Right? Nah, that's, that's the change of my life. However, my business instinct still there. Yeah. <laughs> so even though I become the, apa namanya, the lecturer, I still do some business. Yeah and still yeah. get connection from the any business practitioner and set up my well at that time i become the present director of an investment company when i returned to indonesia and before that i become the banker at the when i graduated from my mba i become the banker in the abn bank at the time still abn not that not merger with not not yet but with amro yeah, abn bank amsterdam in the in the mm -hmm. treasury department and then the corporate banking and then after that recruited by ipmi but i said not not yet i have to continue my study yeah so but uh, so two ways still 
still runs together. <laughs> so the, the academic and as well as the business practitioner. And fortunately, since the beginning when I joined uh, an, an university, I also I already told them that I cannot be full time as if really really full. <laughs> because uh, I, I, I have a lot of activities outside the university. Yeah. So yeah, they agree to sign a different kind of contract, yeah. even though it is full-time, but uh, I, um, I can have other activities outside the campus. That is all my business activities. I become a commissioner of the Bank Niaga, and I become the consultant at McKinsey and Company Jakarta. I set up my own company, up and down the company. <laughs> I only mm-hmm. told before some big company got bankrupt. Anyway, learn more from the bankruptcy, right? And then yes. also training here and there uh, as for myself, yeah. yeah. So, so many different ways to do business. So, both uh, runs together. Uh, that's the story. Well, at the beginning, it is the business person, uh, the, the career to become businessman, and then switch to professor, but the instinct of the business still there. So, Finally, both uh, runs together. So that's the story. Yeah. Well, I love that you, you know, one of the things you, you made a point about when you were discussing with Damien earlier was that you do encourage people to make mistakes, mm-hmm. yeah. um, uh, which you backed up with your comment there about you learn more from bankruptcy yes, than yes. you do from success. I got my, yeah, I got my, some of my company got bankrupt. I mean, stop the business, right? Eh? because of one or other, including in, during the 1999 crisis, 1998, 1999 crisis. <laughs> well, that's it. We learn more from our mistake. Now. Yep, yep, we certainly do. We certainly do. Um, uh, what was it that made you choose education over business? Because many successful business people I would talk to um, or would profile would, if they were having early success in business, which you clearly did, um, would have bypassed the education. Well, actually, I, I told you before, but the inspiration by the famous professor at the time, yeah, it's not easy to get either face to face to with the famous people at the time, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. but involved with the famous one on one, not only once but several times, he invited me. He invited me to his office, the rector of the ITB, because mm-hmm. maybe he 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 saw my potential, maybe. And then finally, when I graduated, he said. Okay, so now your career want to be a professor. Yes, professor. Yeah. Well, don't do it at uh, ITB. You have to find some other institution first. Yeah. Well, but if you uh, are asked to help ITB in one or the other way, it should you have to apa namanya, be prepared to do that. Yeah. Until now, I still help ITB as a lecturer right, for the doctoral program, but not based in ITB. Nah, that's it. That's the encouragement from the Prof. Andi Hakim Nasution. Gitu. Long time ago. Very, very, apa namanya, very touchy. Yeah. So deep into my mind, yeah. That's the encouragement. So mm-hmm. it does. Uh, yeah. You know, one of the notes I made from reading your report earlier is that you really are the center of your own universe. Um, clearly, you are having both sides, having the education and maintaining the business. But you really, really, actually enjoy the status quo, um, security that you already have. Yeah. Um, and also the cyclical nature of the work. So where you're talking about the end of the year being mm-hmm. super busy um, on both sides of your, your, your business life and your mm-hmm. educational life, um, mm-hmm. I'm assuming that the, that cyclical nature um, also gives you some time off in the years where, where you have a quieter yes, period. Course. During the Christmas season, season and then uh, New Year season, at least uh, one or two weeks uh, Upon my free time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone stopped working. Well, actually, I, I do not really stop working because I wrote articles during the time and then uh, uh, try to learn new things, reading article and then created uh, material for training for next year, things like that. Okay. Okay. Um, so one of the things you touched on, I, I did make a note, um, but you were talking about... Um, well, the, you know, the note I made was that you're definitely non-confrontational. Yes. Um, and you're saying if, if there is any kind of confrontation or if a group gets negative, um, that uh, you would just leave. You would just walk yeah. away. And that was uh, strongly indicated by your, your third chart where um, you're naturally a high eye. You're naturally an influencer. Your natural behavior is to talk um, and to talk your way out of things, which you said when you, you are in a problem, 
Um, you'll talk more, you will encourage people to be more positive and you try and talk people over the top. Um, but once, uh, you know, for, for us, we would call it an eye in the extended range. Once you go, once you're in the extended range, that means that your behavior can actually flip and become yeah. the opposite. So when things aren't going your way and you're not being heard, um, then you'll go silent or you will sulk yes. or you will leave. Um, yeah. In the case of WhatsApp groups. I so, don't uh, want to make conflict with them. It's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. We have different, yeah, different energy, different situation. That's up to them. So yes, mm -hmm. I withdraw from the community, for example, withdraw from the discussion. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy your energy, by the way, and your authenticity. Um, one of the things that I've noticed with the people that Damien's introduced me to so far for these meetings is... Um, we're not business people in the traditional sense, and we, uh, you know, we know ourselves quite well, um, which is which is always good. Uh, and uh, you know, I'd like to think once we go through your profile report, um, once we once we have the opportunity to do that, I'd like to think you'd know yourself a little better, um, <laughs> because beyond the positive things that you, you of course, will agree with, um, there's normally one or two negative things as well where you would have pause for thought you would think well that's not me um and then you read it again and you go well how did they know because <laughs> <laughs> you might not even know yourself you understand yes, yes. Uh, sometimes we we, we only have that apa namanya, that's uh, simple glasses about ourselves yeah not from different angle you cannot see your own back for example <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, yeah and, and it's just it's fantastic you know not only to know and appreciate your own strengths um, some people also have hidden strengths um which which do show up in the tests or or the potential for hidden talents at the very least um but also it's, it's incredibly useful to know your weaknesses um because then you can work on those too you understand yeah yeah is that something you encourage your students to do, um, not only at the university, but also those that you mentor in business? Yeah, if the weakness is relevant for their objective, yeah. not all weakness that we have to attack, right? Mm -hmm, because correct. we have limited resources, limited time, so we use uh, we have use we have to use the time and resource in in a priority way. Yeah, mm -hmm. for example, some pe some people cannot play. Uh, one sport, for example, it's okay. It's not. It's not their uh, the objective. Is not not become that player of the sport. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. okay. They can, you cannot play that. For example, I cannot play play golf. That's that's fine with me. <laughs> so my <laughs> encourage me. Come on. Ah, I don't want to. Sorry, sorry for the golfer. Uh, I, I I I believe that. Uh, I have uh, you know, already my time already full with other priorities. I, have, I play golf. It will fix. Uh, the whole weekend, for example, <laughs> nah, that's why though, even though I don't play golf, maybe that's my weakness, but I, I, I don't try to remedy that kind of weakness nah. because mm -hmm. now at least I have uh, to prioritize my time for other things that according mm -hmm. to me relevant for achievement of the objective. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, like uh, most high eyes, you know, despite having the need to or the, or the like to be the center of attention, mm -hmm. um, you know, we also like those periods of, of self-reflection. I, I say we, because I mean me as well. <laughs> Our profiles yeah, yeah, are very yeah. similar. Um, and, and you know, if we're going to be the center of attention and have an opinion, we like to be able to back that up by facts, which we call being right, uh, you know, avoiding confrontation by getting things right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that's how you would spend your, your spare time. What, what is your hobby? Is it reading or uh, hobby? Yes, I have several hobby. For example, sports. Yeah. Well, I used to you, during my high school. I am the uh, in the student organization. I am the chairman, uh, the the head of the sport division, <laughs> not from there for the education division. Although I am the champion in education, but uh, I like sport at the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. I, for example, I did sport in volleyball. I did sport in chess. I did sport in the ten table tennis, and I, I even uh, did sport in the arm arm wrestling. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so really? when I when I said those that can't teach teach athletics, that must have hit yeah. home a bit. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, at that time, uh, my uh, my physical condition is very very good at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
because I was uh, among the 800 uh, senior high school in my school, the public school, that is the senior high school, state senior high school three. I am the mm-hmm. champion of running. So I, I, I ran the fast when the, there's a final exam of sport, yeah, mm-hmm. surrounding the, 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 the school, the, the, the blocks. Yeah. And then my time is best. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my good condition, yeah. my yep. good condition, yeah. So, okay. And then today juga, I still do uh, running at least uh, twice a week, yeah, on the weekend, and then mm-hmm. the running, yeah. Okay, and then the next hobby is also apa, music, yeah, music and singing, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> just to release the, yeah. uh, release the stress, yeah, uh, music, singing, yeah. Uh, we, we have the same hobby in that case. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Once in a while, we will uh, go together with uh, the uh, live music here in Bidakara, usually, yeah, uh, before the COVID yeah. there was there, but now maybe they suspend a uh, Maybe uh, after the COVID uh, becomes mm-hmm. uh, apa namanya, no more COVID, what well, cannot be no more COVID. At least already mm-hmm. contained. Yeah, uh, yeah. They will start doing that again. The live music. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> one of, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> one of, well, one of the things I enjoyed about reading your charts was there was nothing I kind of picked up on there where your behavior has been changed or or been affected or modified even by COVID. So we've mm-hmm. been picking up with other people that we've spoken to recently, you know, uh, indications of stress um, have shown up in their charts, but uh, th- th- there was nothing at all with you, um, which was interesting to see. It just shows how centered you are, I guess. Okay. So um, because I already, uh, I don't know how to say it, it's okay to for me to uh, get involved in any difficult situation including including the covid situation even the extreme one yeah. well i was the the covid survivor yeah mm-hmm. so, uh, got covid uh, early yeah, in march last year so experience yeah. Yeah. maybe because of the cautiously optimistic and cheerful apa namanya mm-hmm. cheerful <laughs> characteristic then i can survive <laughs> because yeah. when i got covid uh I'm already okay. Whatever happened to me, I'm fine. <laughs> Whether yeah. I survive or I do not survive, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. So just just open minded like that. Yeah, that's good. Well, one of the things I'd, I will touch on from your second chart, which would mm. indicate more your behavior at work. Um, nothing much really changes, but um, it shows that your C or, or your compliance can actually uh, drop below the medium, which would indicate that at work. Um, you may be slightly uh, expedient or, or step outside rules of conventions in order to yeah. get things done faster. How, how would, would would that hit home with you? Because it, it was not yeah. something you've mentioned yet, but it's something yeah, we see. I don't like being contained with regulation on rules, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Including the rules from for the regulated uh, education that I don't think it is relevant in this, in this current situation. The regulation mm-hmm. was taught long time before when education was supposed to be different from now yeah so mm-hmm. that i if um, it is a standardized rule but mm-hmm. not applicable to every situation right so many mm-hmm. situation then we have to uh, question the rule why the rule is like that what's the what's behind that if it's not applicable to this why we uh, why we even practice that rule if it's not applicable anymore yeah mm-hmm. we have to clean the rule yeah. something like that yeah yeah well, based on, on, on that one, one mm. point, would you think that that's intriguing that in 10 minutes of your time mm-hmm. and a very brief uh, pair, you know, paired question mm-hmm. system that we could tell something like that about you? Would you have thought that was possible? Uh, about what? Uh, that we can tell just these tiny little behavioral indicators mm-hmm. just about you. It's just a very short 10 question. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Is that interesting? Yeah, that mean that will be interesting. Of course, I will make a lot of mistakes. That's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> and with um, with your students, those people that mm. you mentor, um, with kind of knowing yourself being something that's a a priority, I would say for most people nowadays. But do you think it's it would be useful for them to perhaps uh, you know spend a few minutes of their time and uh, run through a brief uh, PPR the same way that you did? with us i guess so 
that can be uh, useful for them. I will notify them about this uh, opportunity. But again, the decision says, uh, well, up to them, right? Yeah, well, the proof of the pudding, I think, for you will be in the eating. So yes. you know, when, when we have the opportunity to sit down and, and discuss it when you have a bit more free time. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Do that. Hopefully you'll have a, uh, you know, a stronger positive opinion about it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, do, do you have, uh, before I let you go back to Damien, do you have uh, anything more for me or anything you'd like to ask? Well, not for now, but I enjoy the process. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And uh, yeah, so let's 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 try and schedule some time, not just to go through the PPR, but also let's enjoy some music together. Um, uh -huh. I'm just reopening one of my own bars as well, so yeah. uh, we'll be able to go there and listen to some music. And yet you'll be able to choose then as well. You can pick the band, and I'll make okay. sure they come and play Very for you. Good. So, are you inviting me to your office, your home, or somewhere else? <laughs> one of my bars, if you like. Okay, fine, fine. So, <laughs> no, so at the end of the year, uh, of this year, yeah, around the what uh, yep. during the Christmas holiday? Are you going to be here in Jakarta or? Um, I am planning to head across the bulletin um, oh, okay. because if the offices have to be closed, mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy two weeks of peace and quiet and sunshine and nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, so we cannot we cannot meet uh, in the Christmas holiday then. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be working from the beach, not working from home. <laughs> uh, good for you, Ed. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll. I'll say thank you very much again for your time and to give us the opportunity to converse with you today and uh i'll let Damy step back in if he's available Damy, are you alive yeah i can see him he is he's, smiling now <laughs> he's not moving though uh yeah yeah he's moving oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's good. alive <laughs> okay thank you I'll very much mr back off to max you. thanks yeah. max yeah take care yeah. so professor Roy. How was it? Oh, it is interesting discussion with Max. He opened some of my um, blind side, right? <laughs> yeah, because that, that, that's also why, why I wanted to, because you are a very intelligent man mm -hmm. uh, and you share a lot of experience with other people. And that's also why I invited you. First, you are close friends of our network, right? You never that's left our WhatsApp group. Okay, <laughs> and, and, and 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 from that point of view, uh, I, I was very curious how how the outcome would be for a person like you uh, to have a behavior analyzer. Mm. Uh, so I learned more about myself so that later on I can uh, think of something, some opportunities. Yeah, if we if I know more about uh, those things that I I have I did not know before. Yeah. That will be interesting to find some uh, new opportunities there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and when you go into a, a private consult with Mr. Max, then probably uh, he will review much more. Sure, uh, all the all the black uh, yeah, all the dirty stuff. All the dirty me. stuff. Yeah, all, the, <laughs> all the things we cannot mention here, otherwise yeah. Danny will be disappointed with the all the, the bad stuff. No joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, if you look at the description that Mr. Max gave you now, uh, to give you some more insight on your blind side, and like you said, we all look like this. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm also a coach and a trainer like you. So uh, most of the times we are uh, very, uh, we are distracted because why we will judge people from our own experience and our own perception, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and most of the times that's not applicable for our students because they have a different opinion or a different person. Uh, so. Yeah. Would, would such a, a profile be more interesting for you as a coach, but also for them to uh, map their behavior more so they know what they have to work on? Would that be yeah. valuable? I believe there are some values of that, of course. Uh, added value of what we are uh, we are doing right now and what we know about ourselves, right? Uh, yes. Knowing something new will create new opportunities. That will, that's how we learn, yeah. Yeah, exactly. well, maybe in the future you can create we can create a kind of webinar about this so that the student can at least get some ideas about uh, this profiling yeah and then yeah. later on some of them may be very interested to get the profile yeah so we have what we call the power talk at it me yeah or where we invited all the student and all the alumni yeah 
uh, usually it's about once a month. Uh, there's a one power talk about uh, any topic that is related to the career, related to the business, related to all management, etc. Well, I will arrange uh, uh, one of you or you will be one of the speaker on the uh, power talk later on. Yeah. yeah, I will give a suggestion to the management. Yeah. Okay, and then and then uh, uh, back to to this. Uh, what is your overall? I've been interviewing you for half an hour. Mm -hmm. Mr. Max gave you some insights about your personality report. So, what is your overall opinion? My opinion, it is very useful. It is great. It is enjoyable. So the process uh, will give you some value edit, give you value edit, yeah, about understanding yourself and then how to be more effective, yeah, in uh, whatever you are doing right now. Get it. And, and if you talk about the outcome of the personality profile mm -hmm. report, how would you value that? Would it be uh, uh, not matching? Would it be accurate or very yeah. accurate? I can say about 95% accurate. I don't know about the 5%. Uh, maybe it's, it's my mistake of evaluating myself, but uh, most of them like 95% accurate. Yeah. Statistically that is, speaking, that is like, a lot. It's a lot because Mr. Max probably only discussed 60% with you. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, the 60% that he discussed, 95% uh, correct according to me. <laughs> but the 40% later on, maybe 100% correct. <laughs> That's up to Mr. Max to convince you of that one. Okay. So uh, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we're going to end this. Also, the connection is not so good. And I see that Hujan is coming everywhere a little okay. bit. Yeah. So uh, I want to thank you for your time doing this. And uh, let's see what we can do in the future for this together sure. uh, with SDA or with, uh, with Skills to Max with me. Uh, oh. And uh, yeah, of course, we always speak in Cisnesia because uh, uh, you're part of the team members. Sure. So uh, it was an honor to have you, Professor Roy. Really, thank you. Hey, very same much. here. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Denny and Max and all the team and also thank Dave Awan. <laughs> Hello, Denny, still there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, and all the participants, uh, whether in the Zoom or later on in the uh, recording of the uh, uh, YouTube, etc. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. everyone. Thank you. Thank stay you very much. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Productive. And see you soon. Bye. Yeah, you can leave. Yeah. Bye. Thank you so much. Bingung membuat learning plan untuk perusahaan kamu? Sulit mencari training provider yang sesuai dengan anggaran kamu? Lembur terus untuk koordinasi dengan banyak training provider? Gak usah khawatir, Pasar Trainer punya semua solusinya. Puluhan training provider dengan ratusan program training tersedia di Pasar Trainer. Baik offline maupun online. Kamu bisa memilih kategori training apapun sesuai dengan kebutuhan kamu. Tinggal daftar dan kamu sudah bisa pilih sendiri training terbaik buat kamu. Lupa cara lamamu membeli training dengan segala kemudahan di Pasar Trainer. Mau tahu lebih lanjut? Kunjungi www.pasartrainer.com dot com